Coronado, it's Janine from the City Manager's Office. The Coronado community bike to the movies on Friday, May 19th as part of Bike Month activities. Participants saw the secret life of pets on the big screen at Tidelands Park. Funded by a San Diego Association of Governments Go By Bike grant, Coronado Bikes to the Movies hosted pre-screen pre bicycle activities including a mini bicycle rodeo, walk-up bicycle mechanics provided by Holland's Bike Shop, and a spin prize wheel. The city's newest art project, the Sit a Spell and Play a Tune Piano, was unveiled Thursday, May 25th with piano concerts by locals. The city and its Cultural Arts Commission invite the public to enjoy the pilot pu public art project by either playing or listening. And Mike Blood, our fire chief, donated the piano for the Citispell Play a Tune uh, piano, public piano project. Uh, Jody Asgare, uh, one of our local artists uh, and owner of the Night and Day Cafe, she is uh, on our public art team and she, um, she came up with the graphic art that is on the piano. The project is modeled after several successful outdoor piano public art projects in communities throughout the country. The installation will remain up through December 2017. Earlier this week, an on-duty lifeguard noticed a beachgoer slumped over in the sand and quickly established that he was unresponsive. The lifeguard began providing life-saving measures, including CPR, with the assistance of a bystander. Additional lifeguards responded with first aid equipment and an automatic external defibrillator, or AED. The lifeguard used the AED to deliver the recommended shock prior to the Coronado Fire Department paramedics arriving and assuming care. The patient was transported by ambulance to the hospital and was alert and speaking to the paramedics. Coronado has placed AEDs in all public buildings, police patrol units, and in beach lifeguard vehicles. They have directly assisted in multiple medical emergencies and have saved lives. If you are planning to come to Coronado for the Memorial Day weekend to launch a boat, please note that the Gloria Bay boat launch ramp will not be open. Work continues on the Dock Sea and Boat Launch Ramp project, which consists of their complete removal and replacement. The boat launch ramp portion involves rebuilding the loading dock, including the piles, resurfacing of the boat launch ramp with new concrete, installation of a new gangway, and a new boat wash off area. This work is nearly complete. San Diego Bay has three other no-cost boat launching facilities operated by the San Diego Unified Port District. They are located at Shelter Island, National City, and Chula Vista. This weekend marks the beginning of two popular summer happenings, the Free Summer Shuttle Program and the Promenade Concerts in the Park series. The shuttles start running on Saturday, May 27th, and the first concert is Sunday, May 28th at Spreckles Park. The concerts are held weekly on Sundays in Spreckles Park through Sunday, September 3rd. The Village and Case shuttle service will operate through Labor Day, September 4th. Both are designed to help keep, keep people out of their vehicles during the city's peak summer season to improve mobility. Check the city's summer shuttle webpage for the schedule and for more information. The city will observe the Memorial Day holiday on Monday, May 29th. Some municipal facilities, however, will remain open. Coronado Police and Fire will be staffed as well as public, public services crews. Public services crews will not sweep streets on Monday and EDCO will not perform regular residential trash collection on Memorial Day, so there will be a one-day delay in service. The house, Household Hazardous Waste Program will be closed Saturday, May 27th. Check the city's website for the full schedule. The latest edition of Coronado Currents, the city's six-page full-color newsletter, has hit mailboxes. It's packed with project updates and news for Coronado residents. The newsletter is available online or may be picked up at most city facilities. Scotty and Leo are this week's Pets of the Week. We're here at the animal care facility with Leo and his brother Scotty. Great brothers that are as good at paracats as we've ever had here. They came in because their owner moved and unfortunately couldn't take them with them. But you want a lap cat and a lover. They're both in the same package right here. Leo normally will be in my lap in no time, but I think he's a little bit camera shy. But they're 12 years old, which is not very old for cats. They're in perfect health. They are just a joy to be around. And they're looking for a place to call home and a lap to call their own because they are as sweet as pie. Leo, what do you think? So we're looking for somebody to take them home as a pair since they've been together since they were kittens. And um, you can't ask for a better pair. So come on down, meet them at the animal care facility Monday to uh, Sunday. 9 to 4, close from 11.30 to 12.30 for lunch. But come on down to meet them and you'll fall head over heels for these two guys.
To set up a visit with Scotty and Leo, call Paws of Coronado at the Animal Care Facility at 619-522-7371. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's Weekly Update online. Now, please enjoy these final images from Sunday's Bay Bridge Runwalk. It is funny.